Hi friends, my name is Rika. Welcome to this class. This class is the fifth and therefore last but not least element class of the five day yoga challenge. So today we're moving to the element of ether. Not a lot of us know what the element of ether is because it's everything and nothing. It's the space within us, but it's also the vastness around us. So I invite you today to explore with confidence, be in your element, try out new things, try where you can go, what your body can do. And yeah, just be curious about what's coming. For that, we will start with a pranayama, the pramari pranayama, which uses the throat to activate the throat as ether also is connected to the throat chakra. So everything that is connected to the center of communication and speech. So we will do this pranayama first. You can come therefore into a comfortable seated position. Before we start, I will shortly explain to you how it works. So you can do it on your own. We will close with our thumbs, our earlobes. Our index finger comes onto our eyelids middle finger onto our nose, ring finger and pinky finger on top and underneath our mouth. So it will look like this. It's the Shanmukhi Mutra. So Shan meaning six, Mukhi meaning portals or gates. So we're closing the Shanmukhi with our fingers and then we inhale through the nose. And with our exhale, we slightly close our gates and then we start to hum. Mm -hmm. Like this. We repeat this for seven times. So everyone on their own inhaling and then with the exhale, do the humming. Be aware that your teeth are slightly apart. So there's a space between your upper and lower teeth. So when you're humming, the vibration of the humming is not pressing the teeth together. All right, so now place your hands onto your knees or onto your thighs, roll your shoulders back, close your eyes or soften your gaze and take a deep inhale and exhale here. Another deep inhale and exhale through the nose, feel into your body, how do you feel, can your breath take as much space as possible within your body, Bring your full awareness to the space within you. And then I invite you to set an intention for today's practice. Maybe it's something connected to the element of ether. And when you have it, then repeat it to yourself three times. Take one more deep inhale and exhale here. And bring your hands into your Shanmukhi Mutra. Now with your inhale, prepare yourself to hum for seven times.
done with your seven times. Take your hands back onto your thighs. Feel into your body. Feel into your breath. Maybe your throat feels a little bit more open and your breath is easier. Maybe your body feels a little bit calmer as the nervous system is calmed through the breathing, the voice activated. With your next inhale, start to roll your neck by bringing your right ear towards your right shoulder and then through the front all the way towards the left. If it's comfortable for your neck, go through the back, otherwise through center, all the way to the right and keep going. Do these circles in one direction first. You can keep your eyes closed or open up, whatever feels good for you. Try to use the whole space around you for your neck, the whole space within your neck. Rolling from right to left. And then change the direction going through the back, to the left, through the front, and to the right. Again, use all the space that you have. Go in your own pace. And then start slowly Make smaller circles. Until the circles are so small that you can barely see them. You're the only one who can feel it. And then place your head on your spine, wherever it fits best. Take one more deep breath here. Now with your next inhale, reach your arms through the sides all the way up towards the ceiling. Look up towards your fingertips, interlace your hands and place your hands on the back of your head. Inhale, stick your elbows out, lift your chest, look up, exhale, round your back, look towards your navel, elbows come together. Inhale, look up, lift up, chest up, exhale, round your back. <laughs> Inhale up, exhale round your back. Do this a few more times in your own pace. Try to use your breath to guide you. With your inhale, come back up, reach your arms up, look up. With your exhale, bring your right hand onto the mat, your left arm comes above you. You can look towards your left fingertips or towards your right fingertips. Whatever is comfortable for your neck, stay here and breathe. Try to keep both sits bones on the mat. Make some space in the side of your body. Inhale, come up. Exhale towards the left. 
Again, look towards your right fingertips or towards your left fingertips. Use the space within the left side of your body. Inhale, come back up. With your exhale, lower your arms behind your back, interlace your hands and then lift your chest up, draw your shoulder blades together, look up. Your hands are guided towards the back and down. With your next exhale, lower down above your thighs, take your arms above you. Really keep reaching up and to the front. Maybe your forehead touches the mat. Inhale, come back up. Lift your chest up one more time. Exhale, release your arms to the sides. Come into your first child's pose, Balasana. So seated onto your heels, your upper body is above your thighs, your forehead grounds into the mat. Maybe come onto your fingertips to engage your arms and walk a little bit towards the front to really stretch the back side of your body. With your inhale, come into tabletop position. Your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. Have a really strong core here, strong shoulders, and then start to walk your hands towards the front. Lower your chest down, lower your chin down, and look towards the front into puppy pose. Keep your back of the feet on the mat. Try to have your legs in 90 degree angle. If you can touch the mat with your chin, you can always use a plug underneath and then open up your throat, look towards the front. Inhale, come back up, remove your plug. If you had one, come into a tabletop position and then start to use up all the space around you. Make any movement that feels good within your body. Try to use your neck as well. Do circles or shift from right to left, front to back. Let go of an image how it should look like. Just do whatever feels good for your body. And then find big stillness in your tabletop position and start to walk your hands towards the front again. Lower down, come onto the mat with your chin. And with your inhale, lower your elbows on the mat so that your forearms are on the mat. Your hips come onto the mat, lift your chest up, look to the front, sphinx pose. Exhale, hands to your sides. Take your hands on the head of your shoulders, a little bit wider than mat distance, and then start to lift your chest up with your inhale. Look up, maybe look all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Engage your core, look up. Exhale, lower down. One more, inhale, look up. Lift your chest. Stay here, look to the front or up towards the ceiling and then start to lift your heel towards your buttocks. First your right heel, point your foot, engage your thigh and then exhale, release. Inhale the other one. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift a little bit higher, engage your core, look up, draw your shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and come back into your downward facing dog. So tuck your toes under, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Your navel towards your spine, tuck your pelvis in. 
have a really strong stance here. Your feet are hip distance apart. Your hands are shoulder width apart. Now if your next inhale, lower your elbows again onto the mat. Dolphin pose, Ada Pincha Mayurasana. If you inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, point your foot and then start pulsing your leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold here and then release your leg through the right side all the way down, through the left, back up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, three more, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, one more, exhale down, inhale up and release your leg next to your left. Take a breath here and with your inhale lift your left leg up. Point your foot and then start the pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, lower through the left side, center to the right and up. Four more. Three. Two, one, hold here and lower, bring your knees onto the mat and come into your child's pose. Keep your arms engaged, stretching the outside of your arms. Inhale here, and with your exhale, come back into your Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Now with your inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees and sit back down onto your heels. Start to jump towards the front while tucking in your legs. So you're jumping like you would go into a handstand pose. You tuck in, come back down. Again, in, down. Three, two, one. And then jump all the way to the front of the mat. Come into your Uttanasana, forward fold. Maybe grab your ankles, guide yourself a little bit closer towards your thighs. Maybe release your neck by shaking from side to side, front to back. And with your inhale, come into a half lift, hands onto your shins, look up towards the front, straight back here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arms through the sides, all the way up towards the ceiling, hands touch. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lean to the left. Strong core, ribs tucked in. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, lean towards the back. Slide back when look towards your fingertips. And fold all the way over your thighs into Uttanasana forward fold. Inhale, come into a half lift. Look up, straight back. Hands onto your shins, exhale, lower down, Uttanasana, forward fold, bend your knees, sit down onto the mat underneath you, your feet are directly in front of you, take your hands to the front and lower all the way down onto the mat underneath you onto your back. Bring your hands right next to your body so you can touch your heels. With your inhale, lift your hips up into bridge pose, come onto your shoulders, Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Keep reaching through your fingertips. Keep reaching through your hips. 
Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, get a little bit higher. Exhale, slowly lower back down. You do this again on the other side with your inhale, lift up. Lift your left arm up. Keep reaching with your left fingertips. Keep reaching with your hips. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Breathe here. Inhale a little bit higher. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Take your knees towards your chest and start to do some spinal rolls, rolling up. Take some momentum to come all the way into yogi squat. So your feet are met with apart, heels slightly inward, your hands into prayer pose, elbows guiding your knees outward. Have a really strong and straight back here. With your next inhale, lift your heels up, come onto your toes, and then start to lift up and straighten your legs all the way. Come as slow as you can, your arms up and above you. Make yourself really tall, maybe your hands are slightly apart. Reach for the sky, and with your exhale, lower over your thighs. Bring your feet back together into Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, sit back down into chair pose, reach your arms up above your head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take an inhale here. And with your exhale, come into a twist. So your left arm comes onto your right thigh, you twist towards the right. Inhale here. And with your exhale, start to peel off your left leg and step all the way towards the back of the mat into high lunge. Stay in your twist. Adjust your twist so your left hand comes onto the mat. Your right arm comes up. Straight arm twist. Inhale, twist a little bit wider. And then with your exhale, straighten your front leg. Come into a wide-legged pyramid pose. Inhale, bend your knee, come into the twist. Exhale, straighten your leg, pyramid. Inhale, twist. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, twist, stay here. And then come all the way back up into your prayer twist. And start to peel off your back foot again towards the front of the mat into Utkatasana. Reach your arms up above your head, inhale here. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale up. Exhale right. Inhale up. Exhale, slide back, bend here, look towards your fingertips and fold over your thighs into Uttanasana, forward fold. Sit back down all the way onto your buttocks again. Feet on the mat right in front of you. Lower down onto the mat with your back. When you reach the mat, place your arms right next to your body, your feet as close to your buttocks as possible. Inhale, lift your hips up, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Keep reaching, lifting through your pelvis. Squeeze your thighs together. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift back up, left arm up. Reach with your left fingertips. Lift your hips up, smile, exhale, release. Bring your knees towards your chest again and start to roll up into your yogi squat, malasana. Take a little bit momentum and then adjust your stance. Come into your prayer hands, elbows guiding your knees outward. With your next inhale, start to peel off your heels, come onto your toes and lift up as slowly as you can. Inhale, make yourself really long, really wide. And with your exhale, release into forward fold. Guide your feet back together. Inhale, bend your knees, sit back down, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Make sure your pelvis is tucked in, your core is strong. 
And with your next exhale, bring your right elbow onto your left thigh. Come into a twist on this side. And then start to peel off your right leg and step all the way back towards the back of the mat into high lunge. Adjust your hands, right hand on the mat, left arm comes up. Exhale, straighten your front leg, come into a wide pyramid. Inhale, twist. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, twist. One more, exhale, pyramid. Inhale, come into the twist, stay here. Bring your hands back into your prayer pose. Step towards the front of the mat, reach your arms up above your head into Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale towards the right. Inhale up. Exhale, lean left. Keep your right leg grounded into the mat. Hips are strong above your ankles. Inhale up. Exhale, slight back bend here. And fold over your thighs, Uttanasana. Inhale, come into a half lift, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Sit back down onto your buttocks, feet again in front of you. This time, stay here. Take your feet a little bit wider towards the front so that you have maybe a 45 to 90 degree angle with your knees. Take your hands right behind you, your fingertips pointing towards the front of the mat. We lift up again with our hips, this time into a reverse tabletop position. Inhale, lift your hips up. Strong arms, strong shoulders. Keep reaching with your hips. And then you can look to the front, towards the ceiling, or maybe you release your head into your shoulder blades and look towards the back. Stay here for three. Two, one, and then slowly lift your head, lower your hips and come into the seated posture again. Now lift your shins up off the mat so they are parallel to the mat. Lift your arms above your head, stay here or straighten your legs all the way into Navasana boat pose. Stay here for three, two, one. Bring your knees back towards your chest, roll down, take a few spinal rolls to come back into Malasana Yogi Squat. Hands to heart center, guide your knees outward, straight back here. Really strong, look towards the front. Inhale, peel off your heels and start to move upward. Slow and steady, reach up with your inhale, make yourself really long. Exhale, fold over your thighs. Bring your feet back together, Uttanasana, forward fold. With your inhale, bend your knees, sit back down, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist directly into your prayer twist. Start to peel off your left leg, step back towards the back of the mat into high lunge. Release your arms into straight arm twist. Inhale here. Exhale, come with a straight front leg again into pyramid pose. Stay here for three. Two, one. Now with your inhale, bend your knee, come back into straight arm twist and all the way into your prayer twist position. Lift your back leg up, come into Utkatasana, reach your arms up, Tadasana mountain pose, lean towards the left. Inhale up, exhale right. Inhale up, exhale, look towards your fingertips, slide back, bend here and fold over your thighs. 
Inhale, lift up, look up, half lift, Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, fold over your thighs, Uttanasana, sit back down onto your buttocks. Your feet come again in front of you. This time, straighten up your legs. Heels are in the mat, hands are behind you, fingertips pointing towards the front of the mat. Now, with our inhale, we again lift up our hips, this time coming into reverse plank. So inhale, lift up, try to bring your toes onto the mat, lift your chest, look up or towards the back, stay here for three, two, one, and slowly lower back down. Bring your feet closer again, or your buttocks closer, and then lift your shins parallel to the mat. Extend your arms up and back, straight your legs maybe. Stay here for three, two, slow and steady breaths, one, strong core, and bring your knees towards your chest, roll back down and come into Malasana Yogi Squat. Take again as many rolls as you need. Breathe here. Now with your next inhale, lift your heels up and start to come up as slowly as you can. Arms reach up and to the sides. Make yourself really long, inhale. Exhale, fold over your thighs. <sighs> Bring your feet back together, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, sit back down, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, come directly into a twist to the left. Step your right foot back into high lunge. And then bring your right hand onto the mat, your left arm comes up, straight arm twist. Exhale, straighten your front back, wide pyramid, stay here for three, two, one. And with your inhale, bend your front knee, take your hand on to the mat, straight arm twist, all the way into prayer twist. Step to the front of the mat, reach your arms up, and then exhale directly forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank and all the way into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathe here. Keep your core engaged, ribcage tucked in. And with your next inhale, lower your elbows onto the mat underneath you. Come into dolphin pose. Ada Pincha Mayurasana. And then start to walk your feet towards your elbows and back again. Do this little drills a few times. And if you want, you can also try to come into forearm stand. Pinchama Yurasana, if you feel comfortable to do that. And then stay wherever you are. Either keep walking or maybe also lifting your legs. And stay there for three breaths. And if you don't feel comfortable right now, there's also a chance later in the flow again. Slowly come back down, release your knees and come into your child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here.
feel the breath in the back of your body. Maybe you want to take your knees a little bit wider so that your torso falls in between your legs. Slow and steady breaths. With your next inhale, come into tabletop position again. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Have a strong core, strong back, and then start to walk your hands towards the front again into puppy pose. Your chin onto the mat underneath you. Look to the front. And then lower your elbows, come into sphinx pose. Lift your chest up, lower your hips. Exhale, lower your upper body, take your hands again into seal pose. So shoulder width, on shoulder height, mat width, and onto your fingertips. Lift your chest up with your inhale. Stay here, bend both knees towards your buttocks. Look up or maybe towards the back. Exhale, release. Hands underneath your shoulders, come all the way back into child's pose. Slow down your breath. And then look towards the left, placing your right part of the face onto the mat. Take a few breaths here. Come through center all the way to the right, onto your left part of the face and take a few breaths here. Inhale, come back to center, start to walk your hands towards your knees and then come all the way up seated on your heels. Bring your feet from underneath you in front of you into an easy pose. You can then stay here or you come into lotus seat. You can do the one-legged lotus seat by placing one foot onto your hip groin or you come into the two-legged lotus seat, so in the full lotus seat, placing both uh, legs or both feet, pla placing both feet onto your hip groins. So from here, you can stay either here, take your hands to your heart center, just breathe here, feeling the stretch in your legs and your knees, or you come up onto your knees, onto your hands, into a variation of the tabletop position. Stay here if this is enough for you, otherwise you can also come into puppy pose with your lotus legs. So place the chin onto the mat, look to the front. Or if you want to go even further, you can come with your hips on the mat, take your hands again into seal, and then lift up. Stay wherever you are for three. Two, strong core. One, and start to lower with your exhale, hands underneath your shoulders and shift back on to the buttocks. Release your legs, remember which one was on top. And then come into your child's pose, take a breath here. We do the normal flow again. So come onto your hands into tabletop position. Walk your hands towards the front, puppy pose. Exhale, lower down with your hips, with your forearms. Inhale up, sphinx pose. Exhale, lower down, take your hands this time underneath your shoulders. And then you can either lift up into baby cobra 
or you try to lift up a little bit more into full cobra, maybe bending your elbows, maybe straightening your elbows. Try to keep your pelvis and your thighs on the mat underneath you. Look to the front or if it's available for your neck, look up. Try to keep your shoulders down so they're not lifting up to your ears. And then exhale, slowly lower down. Come all the way back onto your heels into Balasana Child's Pose. Take a breath here. With your inhale, walk your hands towards your knees. Bring your feet in front of you. And again, come into your variation of the Lotus Pose. This time, take the other leg underneath. So if your left leg was on top, it's going underneath now. Stay here, hands to heart center, maybe in a lotus flower if you want. Or come a little bit further onto your knees into a tabletop position, hands underneath your shoulders. And then if you want to stay here, feel free to do so. Otherwise walk towards the front into puppy pose. Stay here if this is enough. Or come again onto your hips and then take your hands into seal pose. Lift yourself up and breathe for three. Shoulders come down, chest lifts up. Two, core engaged. One. And slowly release with your exhale. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, come back onto your buttocks. Release your legs and come into your child's pose again. you want take your knees a little bit wider and then feel your breath moving into your back side of the body one more deep breath here inhale lift into tabletop position we did a normal flow one last time adding on to it Step with your hands to the front, come into puppy pose. Lower down into sphinx with your inhale, look up, lift up. Exhale, lower down, hands underneath your shoulders. Bring your feet as close together as possible. And then start to lift up your chest into cobra. If this is very easy. You can also start to try bending your knees again, your heels towards your buttocks, and then maybe look up or even towards the back. Exhale, slowly release back down. Tuck your toes under and come all the way into your downward facing dog. Lower your elbows onto the mat underneath you. And then again, lift one leg, hold, release. Lift the other leg, hold, release. Do this or start walking towards your elbows and back again. Walk towards your elbows and back again. Keep on doing the lifts or the walk to the front, or come all the way into Pincha Mayurasana by lifting one leg at a time. Therefore walk first to the front and then lift up and stay there for three. Slowly lower down and come all the way into your child's pose. Take some deep breaths here, slowing down your breath. 
Maybe take your arms around your body onto your heels and surrender fully into the mat underneath. One more deep breath here. And with your next inhale, come all the way up into an upright seated position. Bring your legs towards the front. Sit into the center of your mat and then start to lower yourself all the way down onto the mat underneath you. Go as slow as you can. Use all the vertebras in your spine until your head comes last. Take your knees towards your chest one time, massage your lower back by rocking from side to side a little bit. And then bring your feet back onto the mat right behind your buttocks. Heels can be touched by your fingers. Bring your hands next to your body, palms facing downward. And then we lift again into bridge pose. So if you inhale, lift your hips up. Maybe stay here or come all the way onto your shoulders by interlacing your hands underneath your lower back and then pivoting onto your shoulders. Try to keep your neck straight here. So the back side of your eyes is pressing into the mat underneath. Lift through the hips, lift through the chest. And breathe. Squeeze your thighs together. Inhale, get a little bit higher. And with your exhale, first release your hands, pivot your shoulders back, and then roll down vertebra by vertebra. Again, take your knees towards your chest and work from side to side. And then release your legs towards the left side. Take your arms into cactus arms next to you. Look towards the ceiling or towards your right fingertips. And don't forget the deep belly press. With every inhale you expand the space within your tummy. And with every exhale you squeeze out all the air into the space around you. If you want, you can already close your eyes. Inhale both knees towards your chest. Hug your Shins one more time, rocking from side to side a little bit. And then release your knees towards the left, towards the right. Take your arms into cactus, look up or towards the left side. Keep both shoulder blades on the mat underneath you. And if you want, close your eyes and feel into the deep stretch of the twist. Feel your breath guide you a little bit deeper, releasing any tension within your body. Inhale your legs back into center. 
hug your shins again and then straighten your legs towards the ceiling. Start to peel off your buttocks, the pelvis floor of the mat. Take your hands into onto your lower back or straight towards the front. Keep your neck straight, don't move your neck anymore. Again, pressing the space underneath your eyes into the mat so that there is a little bit of space in between your chest and your chin. Round your back, maybe your feet come onto the floor behind you, maybe they are hovering wherever you are. That's totally fine. Just feel into the stretch. Don't move your head. Breathe here. Slow and steady. Maybe smile, bring the corners of your mouth upward. And then bring your hands onto your lower back and start to lift one leg at a time into shoulder stand. You can stay in the shoulder stand or you come again into your lotus legs. And then lift your pelvis up, come onto your shoulders and take your hands onto your knees. <clears throat> Have a slight push and pull here with your knees and your hands. Make your back really tall, really strong, really long. Stay on your shoulders and breathe here for three, two, one. And then release your hands slowly back onto your lower back. Release your legs, both legs up towards the ceiling, shoulder stand. And then release your feet back behind you into Halasana Plow Pose. Keep your hands on your lower back and slowly start to roll yourself down back onto the mat. As slowly as you can. Keep your legs straight. Keep them still straight and bring them all the way onto the mat underneath you, engaging your core while you do so. Go as slow as you can. Squeeze all the muscles in your body, maybe even lift your head up. Stay here hovering for three, two, one. And with your exhale, release all the way onto the mat underneath you. Let your feet fall outward. Your palms face the sky. If you need to pull something over, then feel free to do so now. And then release any tension within your body with your breath. I invite you to close this practice, start the Shavasana with the chanting of three hums. So breathe in and out deep. Breathe in for hum. Ah. Uh... 
start to sound, feel into your body, vibrate your body, and maybe you want to keep on chanting for yourself quietly in your mind. And whether you hum or just breathe, imagine with every exhalation a blue vibrant light popping up in your throat center. Every exhale getting brighter, lightening all the way into your shoulders and the region of your shoulders. And as the vibrant light gets more vibrant, your body gets lighter until your body feels like lifting off the mat. Feel so light, you're slightly hovering. There's a small space in between your body and the mat underneath. And as you float there, the vibrant light spreads all the way into your whole body, into each cell of your body. And as you float there, slightly hovering above the mat in a vibrant light. Come back to your intention from the beginning of the class. Repeat your intention three more times to yourself.
slowly start to come back to your breath. Start to move your fingers and your toes. Feel into the space around you. Start to rotate your hands and your feet. Maybe reach your arms above your head, make yourself really long from toe to fingertip. And then bring your knees towards your chest and roll onto one side. Maybe place your head onto your upper arm and take a few breaths here, finding back into your physical body. Finding back into your surroundings. Finding back into the room and onto the mat. And when you feel ready, use your upper hand to press yourself up gently into a seated posture. Take your hands into your heart center. And thank yourself for taking the time to practice. Take your hands to your mouth. May you speak kind and understanding words today. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining for this last but not least ether element challenge yoga class wow that was long i hope to see you next time subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any class and see you soon